Members of the European Parliament have voted overwhelmingly in favor of a resolution condemning recent Chinese live fire drills around Taiwan. 424 MEPs voted in favor of the bill, which also calls for deeper EU ties with Taiwan. 46 abstained and only 14 voted against. The non-binding resolution also welcomes the recent opening of the Lithuanian Trade Representative Office in Taipei and urges other EU countries to do the same. It's the latest expression of European support for Taiwan. Ties between Taipei and the bloc have warmed in recent years, with the EU describing Taiwan as a like-minded partner that shares common values of freedom and democracy. To find out more about the European Parliament's vote, our reporter James Chater spoke to Zhuja Anna Ferenzi, an EU-Taiwan relations expert based in Taipei. What does this European Parliament vote tell us about European perceptions of the cross-strait situation after the US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan last month? We've seen that Taiwan is has a much higher profile in Europe at the moment, seen in the light of uh, the reaction, the disproportionate reaction uh, to the visit of Nancy Pelosi uh, in August to Taiwan uh, from Beijing, this has added to the feeling of anxiety and skepticism that Europeans have of China and of China's ambitions in the region. The report captures the mood at the moment, which is one of skepticism, as I said, but it's also more practical and looking forward. It does offer uh, concrete input concrete suggestions on how the European Union should go forward in its uh, approach towards Taiwan. During the original debate on this resolution, the EU's chief diplomat Joseph Borrell said he had no plans to travel to Taiwan himself, as well as other members of the European executive. Does this demonstrate that there's still a difference in opinion on Taiwan between the European Parliament and the executive? There is still a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of converging views on why Taiwan is important and relevant for the EU. So I think we are in this process of uh, working out what role Taiwan should have in the European Union's political discourse on one hand, and at the same time, and this is what the European Parliament is helping with, is to define um, what role the European Union wants to play in the Indo-Pacific. There is no agreement there at this stage. And I think going forward, we will see a back and forth between uh, countries or member states that will or that are ready to push and go forward with Taiwan. But I think what we need is an inclusive debate between all member states that really allows for a conversation to identify why Taiwan is important for the EU. How are Europeans viewing the global geopolitical environment? This vote on Taiwan took place with the war still raging in Europe. And on the same day, the cause of that war, Vladimir Putin met with Xi Jinping in Uzbekistan. I think the European Union needs to stay on the path of internally being united and showing a united uh, front vis-a-vis -vis the, the threats that come from from Russia, and also to signal to Beijing that uh, the relationship that Beijing wants to build with the European Union cannot be business as usual. The business as usual that Beijing prefers, which is access to European markets, because China does need this uh, access going forward, 